Welcome back to Patrick's. This is episode I don't know what. Let's get rolling. Uh, last we left off. Where am I? Why am I here? Hang on a second. Isn't there a level select option? Am I losing my mind? There it is. Up left, by the way. This is where we are. We are on player. Why am I up here? Oh, I opened this game to figure out what this world was called, because it went up today. That's what's up. I think it's been two days since I last played Patrick's. I'm very excited about these levels, but unfortunately, uh, it's a busy time, so I haven't had as much time as I wanted to have uh, to play Patrick's Parabox. Sadly, very sadly. So, where am I here? Right. So the goal of this level, does this sound louder to you? The pause menu music is different? That's wild. Let me, I'm gonna turn this down real quick if you don't mind. It feels a little loud. I was messing with my audio settings a little earlier, so I'm gonna cut Patrick's audio just a touch. I might be hard to hear. There you go. Alright, so where are we? I need to get this piece, the bottom right piece, here. Which means that if, if, we, if you observe, that please direct your attention. If you have, if Patrick's full up and you grab a new piece, it kind of works like this. Oh, hey. That's a little different. You can put the... You can, you can like do a little switcheroo me here. I don't know if this does anything for me. I don't really feel like it does, but I bet I can use this. And I bet I can use this actually. So, oh yeah, wait, if I put, if I go like this then? Okay, I see. So I believe if I, if I, reset here. I believe the answer to this is actually to place this guy here. And then you can kind of do this to move it up. Oh, you could just do this to move it up to where you want it to be. I see. You can you can just continuously cycle them out. There you go. Got it. Cool. That's neat. That, that was one of those levels where I could not get it when we played this last time because I had to learn something new, which I was not up to. I imagine we're going to use what we just learned here, which is that we can cycle. No? Oh, because there's a thing in the way. Hmm. There's a, there's a gap. You see that? Interesting. What if I grab all three of these, and then grab the greenie, and then I... Okay. I thought that this... I thought that this move here, where I pushed the blue block into the wall with the green on the edge, I thought that that might solve the puzzle. Oh, you know what? I bet it does solve the puzzle if you do this. I'm correct. Because that when you, when you push in, there is nowhere for the block that is being pushed out to be pushed out, so there's only one thing that can happen there only one answer. Now this is a new level which means that we're probably learning something. Is this recursion? This is! Oh my god, Patrick is... You can do recursive Patrick? That's weird. <laughs> okay, okay. How the hell do I interface with this? I mean, there's only really one thing I can do, right? There's, yeah, there's really only one thing you can do. You can only grab the blue block and then, what, move it down? Oh my god, of course it works like that. That's how the recursion works. And we can push it in like that on the right. Wow, how what a cool level. Even though that level did not take me very long, like the entire time I was doing it, I was just going, oh wow. Also, remember this setup? been here a few times before, haven't we? feel like I have been in this place before. The, this little 
uh, block, wall, one by one gap. I feel like I've been here before. I mean, hmm. It feels like this shouldn't be hard, but let me, let me reset. What if I... Yeah, you know what? That does make sense. That nothing would happen there. And I can't go down here. The goal ultimately is to get to this point. Oh, with Patrick on the other side. Well, let's just let's just carry on. Maybe the answer is in in doing this, and I am just unaware. Mm -hmm. That does work how I would expect, I suppose. That doesn't do anything. Yeah. What I did there is nothing. That's a non-answer. I don't feel like I'm doing anything here. Okay. Let's look again. What if we place it here? The problem is, of course... Oh, I see. Maybe. If I can... Hmm. I don't see. But I have an idea, right? So I can place... I can place the, the copy, the non-Patrick copy in, and then I can place the blue in. Nothing really happens here. The idea was maybe I can push the object on Patrick's right out now, but I don't see a way that you're gonna do that. So we could push them out here or whatever this is worth. Oh, and then you you, you you just get them out. I see. You you just and then you you use the copy. Of course. Why was this so difficult? We'll never know. Why didn't I think of that sooner? I don't have any idea. Of course you can just free that. Makes perfect sense. You notice by the way how when you go into a new level instead of Patrick jumping in just his eyes jump in. Pretty cute. That's a cycle. I can go into the green boy, or the brown, brown one. The, I don't know why I called this green. Your next uh, blue black versus white gold dress situation. So if I push, uh, no, so I don't have a cycle on the right, or on the left here. Uh, what is happening to me today? I don't know. Mm hmm. And if I go down here, it goes to the middle. I, I think I see, right? I think I see. But I also don't see. I, I'm supposed to use this blue block to push the brown block off of the edge, I feel, right? This is a cycle. But how do I do that? I can push it every other location, right? I can push it up to there, and I can push it down to here. Oh, and then I can just push it up. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's you can do multiple steps. That's true. Great point. And then you just grab this, and then you don't, have, you don't even have to do anything with this, right? Oh yeah, you do. You have to not push the brown against the wall right away. Do this. Again, level probably shouldn't have been that hard, but we got there. This episode will probably be shorter, I should mention. There are many other things I should be doing right now other than Patrick's, but I really just wanted to play Patrick. Like, truly, I should be doing other things today. Right now. I should be doing Monster Train, I should be doing cool work, however. Okay, if I grab my mouse, can I click on Patrick? I can, okay. So this is a mechanic that I don't actually utilize that often because I play this on controller. But if you click on something, you can actually look at... If you, if you click on a level within a level, you can zoom into it. I wanted to take a quick look at it there. So, what? I mean, there's really... There is, again, only one thing to do to begin with here, right? It is this. We can take these two actions as, like, for sure. Now, interestingly, whenever you push the block, it seems to get spit out. 
Oh, because Patrick is full of blocks. I did not realize that fact. I did not realize that Patrick was full of blocks. I see now. Okay, that makes this puzzle make a lot more sense. To me. To my brain. I now feel as though I understand. Okay. It took me a second. I didn't really grasp what the hell I was looking at here. So, I want to push out the... This piece first, right? This is actually extremely easy now, I feel, but I had to grasp it. Okay, this is not as easy as I was initially going to state, but still reasonably easy. I just, I did not recognize that Patrick was full of blocks. I was looking at that, I didn't see it. This recursion within, like I'm within Patrick on the left and up, or no? No, those are, those are Patrick copies, or Patrick is a copy of these. I see. Oh, you can, like, you can see the level in the bottom left here, but... Hang on, I'll, I gotta look closer again. Oh, that's weird, okay. So if you, if you click in to look closer because it's recursion, yeah. And it just goes forever, okay. Interesting. I just, it was in, I thought it was strange because the square that represents Patrick is black. Like, there is nothing there. Normally it would just be Patrick again, but I guess that might get confusing for the game in some way. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I want to push the green block up one. Okay, so, I see. This is, it, this, it feels vaguely reminiscent of... A Rubik's Cube? I don't know if you feel that as well, but it feels very vague, and I've never done Rubik's Cubes, to be fair. Like, I've not, I've not solved one myself, but these levels feel a little bit like just a lining up on a Rubik's Cube. Mm -hmm. So you gotta push this one, what, into here? Because, like, what else are you going to do here? Ah, and then you can create your own cycler. Okay, so what's the end game is the question. The end game is I need to get... I see. I need to get the green block in the bottom middle so that I can push it out to here when I grab this guy, right? That's, that's your end goal. So the question becomes very simply... How the heck do I move left and right? Is it over here? Can I move left and right? Oh, you can move left and right. It is over there, yes. Yeah, it's like, but this isn't, hang on. So first and foremost, I need to push, step one here, push green to the middle square or the middle row. Step two then lets you move green. And now step three is how do I return the piece, right? And I imagine you do it like this. And then you go back in, you get this to be at the bottom, and then you walk over here, and boom. That's a W. What an extremely cool concept for a level set. Like, how absurdly neat. Did I do this? I did this. It just, I couldn't, it, it would have the little square. That's the denoter. It just looked different. So I thought I maybe didn't do that level. I I knew when I saw it that I was, I, I you remember, I, if you remember when I did this level last time, which would have been yesterday, hopefully for you, I was very excited. I remain excited. The, the concept here is very cool. I believe I want to move the green piece over to here in so that I can I can just interact with it basically yeah sure I solved it cool <laughs> that was intentional yeah no that was definitely I just was interacting with the tools and it happened to win ah this is a little recursive flip action oh god <laughs> oh no do not ask me why I have done this. I do not know why I put all of the pieces in the Patrick. I just felt it. 
Well, I assume... I assume if I walk out, I cannot enter, right? Or either I cannot eat the green. That's correct. So I can only eat the green from below. So, flip, grab, B-flip, uh, grab green. And what, you can do like this? Yeah, and then if you flip again, this is going to push the blue in, and there you go. Could have been better on the commentary there, but also sometimes the puzzles go too fast, I fear. Maybe I should slow down and talk them through a little more. It's possible that I should. I've been, you know, it's a little late for me to change how I've been playing. Uh, either way, let's, let's an analyze. We can flip. And we can also return to start without flipping. And I need three pieces, which... I don't really know how you're meant to grab these. I suppose you just start with what you can interact with here, right? Which is this blue piece. And then it's this hollow piece. I wanna go in with the flip, yeah. I suppose what you're meant to do is grab the level and put it in blue town. And you can just push it out. But then how do I get the level out of blue town? That's your question. I suppose I just go in there. Hmm. Oh, hey, what happens if I flip this? Hold. Please hold. Now let me just grab the blue square. Let me flip young Patrick. What happens if I... Oh, this is flipped. Okay. I was thinking maybe, and I knew that it wouldn't work this way, but I was thinking maybe I'm supposed to flip this and come in from the top here. That does not appear to be the case. Mm -hmm. can grab it, no problem. Oh, wait, am I... I meant to do... No, it's, it's permanently flipped. The flip doesn't matter, though. How do I get this purple out of this blue? That is the question. I mean, this does nothing. I can push in the square. That doesn't seem very helpful. I need to... Hey, what happens if I flip this? Can I flip this? What happens if I do this? Cycle. Okay. If this is flipped, do you think it works? I think maybe I just need to flip the blue container and it works. And it should be no problem to flip, right? Come down here, grab it. Oh yeah, you actually just have to flip it. Okay. I did not realize I was incorrect. The flip does matter. Because now you can actually walk out. Yeah, this is right. Did that step and then I went, wait, I've made a terrible mistake. No, no, no. I... The only mistake I made was thinking that the mechanic of the level did not make a difference. The flip... I, I didn't... I couldn't conceptually see a way that changing the orientation made a difference. But it changes which way the level can face. Interesting. Isn't it? You can just... So I suppose... You, you, this is one where we have to switch the recursor, right? Patrick has to become the recursor, which you can do by pushing in the orange and then pushing in all of the blocks. And then you just walk out and you're in Patrick now. I got an achievement for that called Oh Dear. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, oh, wait. I, was, I thought I had to get the blue into the bottom left corner, and, and uh, I... Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I, I get you. I see it now. Okay, so this is a cycle, but then if I were to push, hang on, if I push the green here, no, it is a cycle, okay. I thought that that was going to go out into oblivion, but I was wrong. 
Again, I'm, this is one of those situations where I am not even thinking about the level. I'm just interacting with pieces and going, hey, how does this work? I think this is one where we're making a cycle. This is kind of difficult to look at, to be honest with you. I'm just going to reset. And we're going to look at this again. The bounce is a little bit... A little bit tough, you know? What can I do? No, I cannot walk out. I can't... nothing here. So it feels like the only way that you interact with this is by... placing these blue squares down here. But then you're stuck, it feels. Oh, you can... you only need to use one. Right? And you can push this over the, the green. And then we can bring it up one. That's what you're supposed to see there. And that's your answer. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, back to it. I apologize if this is hard for you to look at, by the way. I do not believe... I've looked... I don't believe there's anything I can do... for... Uh, smoothing things out like that. The bounce. I'll look again. Eye movement doesn't do it. Particles don't do it. Huh. Looks better with the particles. And maybe even random or bonuses. I don't see it. Alright. I'm going to assume that there is nothing. I have checked multiple times now. If I missed it, I apologize. But like, I can definitely see you looking at the way the level bounces and going, Ah, I don't like that. Okay, let's think about this. We have two sub-levels which we have to grab. I assume that... yeah, that doesn't work. You can cycle these. But that doesn't do anything. So how do I interface with this, I guess? Oh, that's weird. It doesn't cycle, it actually just goes into it if it's against the wall. That's not how I expected that to work. And this would go into it too? Okay. Huh. Does that happen down here as well? Okay, interesting. Because there's nowhere for it to go, so I guess it, or it doesn't have a way to cycle, and it ju you just move into it. It probably makes sense. I'm just not going to think about it too much. There's a fake, fake Patrick. Patrick Imposter. Uh. Huh. So this is like... I see. This is, this is strange is what this is like. Oh, it also doesn't zoom in over there. Okay, so your goal here is I need to offset Patrick by three, right? That's your ultimate goal. Let me restart. You have to offset your top and bottom pieces with three squares between them. Let's put fake Patrick in there. And I assume we just do this multiple times. And we can go up against the wall as well. Oh wait, he has to come he has to come out. My Patrick has to be in the corner. There you go. Gotcha. That's a, this one isn't too crazy, but puzzles where you have two Patricks are going to inevitably become very difficult, I feel. So this level, this one's interesting because well, we have to do a few things. We have to split the Patricks up. I, unsurprisingly, I'm going to compare this to Baba. This is not unlike something that you have to do in Baba is you at times, so I don't feel that forsaken here. Now you just trap your Patrick in the sub-level and he can't go anywhere. Okay, this looks, uh... <laughs> okay, I see. So you can offset them by going into these different... Uh, places. So let's let's look at bottom Patrick. So in this position, bottom Patrick is correct. Middle Patrick is three to the right, and top Patrick is one to the left. So I need to move top Patrick one to the left 
from this orientation. And I need to move the middle Patrick three to the right. So to do one to the left, we, go, we are going to... And if I'm not mistaken, if I go straight up, the orientation is unchanged. Yes, okay. Straight up in the middle, the orientation remains unchanged. If I wanted to move one to the left, I believe I would go one to the right. That's correct. I want to move one to the right, so I should go one to the left. I, I got... Well, I was not wrong. However, uh, you know. And then if we go up to the middle, we should reset our position. And now middle Patrick is the only one who is wrong. So do this again. Do this again. How do I, what do I do here? Hang on, how do I fix this? Uh, because like, how do I cycle, basically, is the question. I can just kill a Patrick. That's cool. How do I cycle this back? Uh, the answer is... I don't know. If I just go up, what happens? Yeah. So, that's alright. This is fine. I just, I just need to... I need to deal with middle Patrick being three to the left. So I want to go one, two, three... Right. Yeah. This one's a little bit of a brain twister, I feel. Okay. So, what did I learn here? I have to do it in one go. That's what I learned here. You just, you just do it in one go. Uh, is that right? He's one to the right? Yeah, he's one to the right. So... I then, from here, I need to go... Two, three. I think I need to go one, two, three. And then I need to go... This Patrick to the middle? It's close. Uh, I went the wrong direction. You're in the correct spot. I need to go one, two, three. And then this Patrick in the middle can just go in the middle. Again, it's close. I w I'm just off by one. I'm counting wrong for some reason. So he was... He needs to be one more over. And then... Regular Patrick can go to the middle. There you go. The tricky part of that one was not recognizing that I had to do... And put Patrick within Patrick? Okay, that's weird. Yeah, the tricky part of that one was not realizing that I had to do... All of it in one go. Need to send in frowny face Patrick. Send in. I need to send in frowny face Patrick. So I need to go this way. And then I need to get my man out of there. There you go. That one wasn't too bad. That's the level. Okay. Uh, this mechanic where you have multiple Patricks, very cool. Strange that it's in this like light blue change your perspective pack because that feels like it would just be a whole level set mechanic. Let's go look at the next level set mechanic. It's called Possess. I won't do five. I'm only going to do one. But, oh, is this, I can just take this over? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. All right, sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotcha. Grab, a, grab him like this, maybe? I can't possess him, though. How do I, how do I possess him? I mean, I guess I just... No, hold, hold. I can do this. There you go. Because I won't possess when I go in it. All right, I'm not gonna do any more. We can so we can see how to solve this one. I know how to solve that one. I'm not doing another one. I can't do five levels again. Not again. Thank you for watching. I am going to wrap up the episode. God, I love this game. I'm so glad I did a YouTube series on this game. 213 down. We probably have about another... What is it? It's like another 150, I think. So, probably another like week or so of Patrick's. Which is great news. Very excited. Uh, having a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.